Hi everyone, so today we're taking a look at Knights and Dragons on Android and iOS. Now, Knights and Dragons is a new title from Gree Inc, and this is a free to play game as well, with in-app purchases. Now, the whole idea of this game is to collect loot and improve your heroes, your knights. In doing so, you'll be able to complete more and more of the stages, collecting better loot, upgrading your guys, and doing even better. When you're ready, you can test your team's metal in the arena and in guild fights, again acquiring even better loot. Now the gameplay here is very reminiscent of things like Pokemon, collecting up everything you possibly can, fusing things together to create better equipment and items, and ultimately winning those fights. So let's jump in and take a look at the game itself. First up, one of the most important things to mention here is the quest log. This is going to keep you on track whilst you're progressing through the game. A key thing here is constantly checking your quest log to see what things you need to be working on next. And it could be something simple, like upgrading a particular piece of equipment, or rewards for inviting your friends to join you in the game. The quest log hands out rewards every time you complete a particular quest, and so it's very, very important if you want to be able to progress through the game, whilst not making things too difficult for yourself, that you do keep an eye on that quest log. There are rewards to be had from the quest log, such as gems and energy, which are really important if you want to be able to progress in the game a fairly steady clip. So working your way through that quest log not only helps you to understand the game better and get bedded in quickly, but also unlocks various rewards that will help you with your gameplay. The heroes themselves fit into a number of different classes. These various classes take on the elements, as it were, fire, earth, air, water, and so on. Now, as you start to craft particular gear, certain gear will work better on different types of knights. These are things you need to keep aware of if you want to make sure your knights are as powerful as possible. When you go into a fight, you'll be able to choose which knights you want to take with you. In the beginning, your choices will be limited, but as the game opens up and you put more time into it, you'll find that you're going to be able to pick and choose which knights you want to take into those fights to give you the best possibility of winning. As you progress through Knights and Dragons, you'll acquire keys. These keys can be used to unlock different quality of chests. Now, each chest may contain various items or bonuses, for instance, energy or gems. A really fun thing here is you never know what you're going to get out of a chest. So there's this real random chance you might get something truly awesome, or something you're just going to fuse together with another piece of armour anyway. But either way, you never know quite what you're going to get, and that makes it quite addictive actually. Because, well, every time I've got some keys, I'm like, oh, rush over, go and find out what I've got next. Crafting is a key component of Knights and Dragons. As you complete various stages, collect rewards from your quest log, you'll be able to craft new items. Now all of these confer bonuses. These bonuses will make your knights more powerful. And if you need even more power, and I would certainly recommend you use this feature, you can also fuse multiple pieces of armour together. As you start to gather up more and more loot, you'll find you have lots of items of equipment that you can't really equip onto a knight. However, what you can do is take an existing piece of uber-powerful armour and fuse together lesser pieces of armour or even greater pieces of armour to create an even more powerful character. In doing so, you'll find it's easier and easier to work your way through the various missions and quest log items as well and also building towards your ability to fight in the arena and within the guild wars as well. Speaking of guilds, one of the cool aspects of this game is the ability to join a guild and compete for really big loot prizes. Joining a guild is really, really simple, and in doing so you become part of a larger community. This is in addition to being able to invite your friends to come and join you on particular quests during the other aspects of the game. It's this cooperation and competitive aspect to the guild part of the game that really does work quite nicely. You're all working towards a greater goal, as it were, as part of your guild to really unlock the awesome loot items. And once you feel your heroes are powerful enough, you can go and jump into the arena. This is where you get to fight against other players. Now, 
everything here is um, very much asynchronous. So you're not going to be fighting in real time, but your stats will be put up against the stats of your opponent, and in my opinion, you'll probably come out on top. My current rank is something in the top 14,000 players in the world right now, after just a weekend of playing in the arena. One of the aspects that's really entertaining here is being able to build your base. At the end of the day, a knight without a castle isn't much of a knight. He needs to be defending his realm at the end of the day. As you start to unlock more areas of the game, you'll be able to upgrade your keep. In doing so, you'll be able to acquire more gold and also be able to craft various items to aid your knights in the fight. All in all, I really have been enjoying Knights and Dragons. It provides a different pacing of game, somewhere in between the kind of base building and the Pokemon collectible games. I've been having a lot of fun with Knights and Dragons this weekend. It does have an awful lot to recommend it. If you're interested in checking out Knights and Dragons, do take a look in the description where I've posted a link to take you directly to the Google Play Store so you can download this particular title. It is free to play with in-app purchases. Yeah.